Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. And today, we are back out here in the Misty Mountains, and we're going to turn in our Bingle Boffin quest. So let's go ahead and talk to Spellby. I have studied this map, and I have both good news and bad. Uh-oh. We found Bingo's pet Lynx, and he has returned in peace. But why does he bare his sh sharp teeth at me? Spelvy asked, suddenly frightened. You tell him that Willem Whisker is not Bingo's pet, but rather his friend, free to leave at any point. I suppose that must be so, Beardbeam, for otherwise he would be long gone by now. But look at this map you brought me. I am afraid I have both good news and bad. The good news is that according to this map, an underground river runs beneath the mountains and seems to travel a long distance south. It could be that Bingo was carried by the current in safety. The bad news? Well, I think we should travel to the Lawnbeard camp in the western Brunian source area of the Misty Mountains for the bad news. I will stay outside the camp proper. Do not tell them I am a dower hand, for I fear my reception would be quite poor. Okay, we gotta go back to Glowing's camp, I suppose? Yeah. Jeez, that's such a far way. <laughs> um, I did some things off camera here. I didn't do any more of the winter home stuff, but I did go to our personal home, as you can see, and I cleaned out our inventory, basically. I put all the decorations we got up. I got a cool Yule campfire that I'll show you eventually. Um, but then I stopped at the bank, put some stuff in the bank, just tried to... Sort our inventory for a little bit. When can I open this again? Level 50. Okay. I'm gonna need these. I was gonna do some crafting on Scholar, but I wasn't motivated. <laughs> I, I almost did it. And then I looked at the stuff and I was like, eh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this stuff. Okay, I think if we go up here, we'll get to this little... Rimbarg. We'll be able to just fast travel back to Gloin's camp. I think eventually we're going to want to uh, go to the auction house and just buy our materials to get everything. The, the thing that demotivated me as I was looking at this is we only did the first tier of all these. So we have a whole nother tier tier for every like level if we want to master it all. And I just... <laughs> it's a really cool system and I like it, but when you get behind it's like, uh, okay. Well met. How do I catch up now? Alright, Glowing's Camp. Then we also have, uh, we could do some farming at some point. I actually really enjoy the farming. Weaponsmith, I think eventually I'm gonna cave if we absolutely need it. And, um, just buy that from the store. Cause that will be at, Weaponsmith is the one that we can't support by ourselves without buying stuff from other people. Cause we need, like, ingots and stuff. So we could make another character, um, and do that, but it's usually done through trading and stuff. You must be wondering why I wanted to come to this Longbeard camp. Baird Beam. Well, I told you the good news, that Bingo may have survived his fall and been swept up in the current of an underground river. Here is the bad news. If the river runs south as far, for as far as this map would indicate, he may have been carried into the depths of the ancient kingdom of Khazad Doom. Really? <laughs> if that is so, we may need to seek the advice of the Lawnbeards, for I have heard whispers that they may be seeking to gain entrance to that place. So there's just a random entrance to, um... A group of dwarves came this way, bound for Khazadun. Okay. Skorgrim set many plans in motion, my f recent friend, and each one required watchful eyes and alert ears. As a result, I have heard a great deal about what transpires in and around these mountains. One such tale might be of use to us now. It is said that a group of dwarves, dwarves from the Iron Hills has come this way, and seeks to enter the halls of Khazad Doom. If we were to follow in their footsteps, they might open the way for us to continue our search for Bingo. 
I do not wish to speak to the Longbeard who runs this camp for fear of betraying my heritage, but you should talk to him and see what you can learn of this expedition to cause a doom. I think we're caught up to the Morio things now. Or almost, at least. No, Dudley. Did you teach those no-good dour hands a lesson, Beardbeam? You gave Glowing a brief account of your adventure in Gebel Lausanne, choosing to leave out Spalvi's role in the escape. When you tell Glowing of Bingo's fall into the cave system, he shakes his head and his beard is ruffled by sighs. If he were a dwarf, I'd say he might even relish the chance to explore such a network of passages, but I'm afraid a hobbit would not have much of a chance in those caves. Even our old burglar Bilbo Baggins much preferred to be out in the sunlight, and he was as near a dwarf as you could wish. You think your friend Bingo might have been washed by an underground river south of Casa Doom? Well, that is quite a long way, but if you seek to enter those halls, you will be in a good company. An expedition has just passed this way, on their way to the land of the Holly Trees. If you wish to follow them into Casa Doom, you will need to find Bossy, or Cousin Broger. They lead the Iron Garrison. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, Spalvi. We have a long way to go if we are to reach the doors to Casa Doom. The Iron Garrison, eh? Sounds to me like a lot of guards and miners. I wonder if they know what will await them inside the halls of Cause of Doom. Spalvi laughs dryly. Perhaps they will open the doors to Cause of Doom and Bingo will be sitting there sopping wet to greet them. Wouldn't that be something, Beardbeam? We have a long way to go if we are going to reach the doors of Cause of Doom. That Longbeard spoke of the land of the Holly Trees? That is the land of Eregion. And while I have never seen it, I understand it to be a land of rolling hills and old ruins. We should travel to one of the ruins in the north and learn what we can do to follow the Iron Garrison. Okay, that is as far as we will take that quest until we are done with our book quest. So, let's, um... Oh, I turned in the first part of this, and we have a, a next part here. Um, we can either farm these, or you can actually buy them for marks, I believe. So, we need to get Grimgore's Matted Fur. We also need to do this one. So we're going to finish up the book quest before we're able to continue on Bingo. So let's head out to Angmar. Good thing we have that as our milestone. All right. Bring Golder's gear to Lairdin. He is course this one yeah <laughs> my heart cannot sing today you have returned Beardbeam. what news the sword has been reforged dunachar it is named yes i can feel the virtue within it and what did you say about the shield it is not goladir's she'll have to make do take the gear to goladir in his quarters well do we ever get an answer for whose shield it is? Bum 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 bum. My oh, friend. Oh, it's 68, Lord Master. Oh, almost fell. Oh dear. I have some stuff for you. Mordrith was right. He was right. How can I be Don't say that. What is this? My male shirt? I thought it lost forever. And the shield, it, it is not mine, but it is a thing of wondrous beauty. But the sword, is this my sword? It was forged long ago by the elves of Rivendell, an heirloom of my family. I thought it lost forever, but now it is returned as Dunachar. It is well named Avenger of the West. Indeed, it will avenge my daughter. My time has come. The time for vengeance is at hand. Despite the strength you have seen within Angmar's bosom, it is strength which may falter quickly. Mordrith, the false king, is a creature of great power, but I believe he may be hindered if not destroyed altogether. I will return to Karn Dune and face Mordrith. It is time to cut the iron crown from the head of the serpent. I would ask that you stand with me. Together we will pass into the vile city and face Mordrith in the throne room of Karn Dune. Gather what companions and supplies you need, for the fight ahead will be terrible. <laughs> yep. 
This quest is meant for a fellowship. If you choose to undertake this quest solo, you will receive an inspiration bonus, but the challenge will be great. Yes, it sure will. Um, but it is level 50. Dunakar will bring my vengeance. We'll give it one go. Heartened by the gift of Dunakar from Elrond of Rivendell, um, Gulodir nope. prepares to assail Cairn Doom and drive the sword into the unseen heart of Mordrith, the murderous steward of Angmar. Courage may bring hope, but a thirst for vengeance could spell doom. Okay, we're gonna give it one go. If we fail it, we'll do some side quests and level up. Actually, we'll probably do a um, skirmish. Let's do this too. Right. Greetings. It seems my long imprisonment in Karn Doom has served us well. We have come far into the Witch King's keep unnoticed. It would be folly to think, though, that our fortune will hold. Already Mordoreth may be aware of our presence. Steel yourself for the battle ahead. I have few words of advice to offer you other than warn other than to warn you that Mordoreth is a master of trickery and illusion. He will try to break your resolve with his words. Do not let him. Keep to your hope and trust your companions. Shall we go now? Okay, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use one hope. Five hope. Use that. Uh oh. After spending so much time in my care, I'm surprised you returned. Have you spent so little time in mourning your daughter? Fight him. I would have died in her place, villain. And it would have been better for you if I had. I can see that you've learned nothing from all my patient instruction. Perhaps simply viewing others through the Palantir was not enough. Come now, Golodir. Let your lessons continue. Oh boy. You see, Golodir, over the long years of this age, many have tried to resist Angmar. All have failed. Do you wish to join these countless failures in death? harder but I still think we'll be okay I think it's the end boss of this that we uh, have trouble with fallen hero defeat Angmar and then Karn, Karn Dune <laughs> Oh wait, Golodir. I don't want to miss the story. Those who opposed the Witch King did so for many reasons. Some sought freedom from Aenmar's yoke. Others sought glory. And yet others sought revenge. However, no matter what drove them, what flame burned in their hearts, that flame was extinguished. priest. Even I, dear Golodir, learned the folly of opposing the Witch King, a lesson I learned from his very hand. As he instructed me, all was torn away. Thoughts of family, of brothers in arms, of friends and companions. Once my lessons were complete, the man I had been was gone. Even I, one of the Witch King's greatest foes, had become but his servant, a steward upon his throne. So, Golodir, if you still hold to your... 
ba, 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 ba. Fool's hope, come forward. Alright, I think this is where it gets hard, maybe? I remember failing this one. Which king built this, his throne room, to celebrate his terrible might? Now Mordor sits upon his throne as steward of the witch king's realm. Where is he? Mordrith, show yourself! Roar! Is that a palantir right there? Enough of your illusions and lessons. Uh oh. But father, there is one last lesson to be taught. What? No, no, you are not her. You are not the <laughs> illusion. Am I? Am I really father? Does it truly matter? Does it change all that has been lost in your futile attempts to shatter the iron crown? Mother was lost, friends uncounted, slain. And for what? Only for you to see your beloved daughter lying dead before the gates of Karn Doom. Give up in this vain pursuit, father. It is folly to hold to your hope. There's no shame in surrendering when you have lost so very much. No. My friends, please help me dispel the horrible illusion. I will, in a moment. Once you stop RPing, man. Okay, this is the fight I'm not looking forward to. Well, Goldir, seems nothing will make you see the folly of your m truth of my words. And if the words cannot convince you, I, I don't know what he's saying. Just go get him. Are we doing anything to him? You see, Goladir, I cannot be harmed. You are Ron Mordrith. The light of Dunachar, Avenger of the West, shall strike you down. Still can't. Oh, there he's going down a little bit. Shall be cast down from your throne, steward of Angmar. Okay, we just need to make sure we can get Mavar up whenever we need. Oh, we gotta defeat this Lorneal thing whenever it comes up, because he stops doing damage. If Lorneal is up. There we go. Don't you face me. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Alright, I'm gonna do a little inner flame for Mavar here. I meant, I meant this one. Bump. Just to keep him up just a little bit longer, but we're probably gonna have to resummon him, which is. That's okay. down because <clears throat> Mavar is probably gonna die after this and we'll need to resummon summon him I think we'll be okay though as long as we can keep pulling out Mavar ok 
Okay, get him back up. There we go. We can't let Goladir fall either. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I don't know. Okay, so I can give him a little bit of health. Alright, get Lorneal. Skill has been barred. What? He's barring me from doing stuff. Fallen hero. Villager's dying. Okay. This is gonna suck. I don't think we're going to be able to do it because Goladir is going to die so fast. Yeah, I can't. He's going down. Hey, okay, Goladir. Do a heal. I mean, I'm not going to be able to keep you up, bud. This, this is not- Oh, we did it! <laughs> that was really close. If Goliadir dies, I think you fail. Uh, uh. <laughs> Where now are your words, false king? False king, I am more justly a king than he who sits before my throne. Let us be done, Goliadir. In the end, your victory here matters not. So be it. With the light of Dunachar, I strike thee down, false king. No. I have but one last reserve of strength, Goladir. You have done well, but the light of your blade was not enough. I leave you now. Perhaps, Goladir, we we will meet again. Base coward. Alright. What do you need? Mordrith, the coward, has escaped us, but did you notice that the blade of Dunachar was still lodged within his breast? I wager the pain of that blade's light shall be a constant reminder of the evil he has committed. While my revenge is not yet complete, I would wager there will be others who will complete this task. For now, I can take solace in this fact. A moment, someone approaches. Look, the gate to the east opens. I'm Sarah Oakhart. Oh, you have done well, young ones. Old woman, who are you? What are you doing here? Your questions will be answered in time. But for now, know that you have done me a great favor. Oh! Betrayed. Great favor indeed. Oh, she took the Palantir. What the heck? She, she has taken the Palantir. It is gone and with no way to follow her. I fear that we sh shall hear from that old woman again and sooner than we would wish it. How can I be of service? What an unsettling end to our battle. I fear that there is much more to that old woman than what we see upon the surface. However, we cannot deal with that matter now. We should leave here before we are overrun with Ingmarim or their servants. Yeah, let's get out of here, man. The gift of Dunakar, Avenger of the West, renewed Golodir's spirit, and with the sword he avenged the death of his daughter. But though Mordereth was weakened, he was not destroyed.
retreating to nurse his hurts and plot revenge. How will this help us in our struggles? Will Sauron maintain control, or will another power claim Angmar? She was all I had in the world, all I had in the world. And all I know. I fear we have not seen the last of the False King. Mordrith has been weakened, though not destroyed. The way through is open for others to finally throw down this False King. I wish that it had been I who had driven that fall creature back into shadow, but it is enough to have done what I have. I ask that you do return to Karn Doom, finish the work that we started, strike down Mordrith, although a creature such as he cannot be entirely destroyed, for you can simply recloak. Such a loss for him will be a great victory uh, for the peop free peoples of Eriador. Still, there is more I would ask of you. Okay. Uh, boo. Ooh. Yes, we will definitely take that. Um, Might I take a moment of your okay. time? This victory is an important one, though not as complete as I had at first hoped. However, even this victory will give us a brief reprieve from the onslaught of the enemy. I would ask that news of our success be brought to my chieftain, Aragorn, son of Arathorn. You have met him then. He is at Rivendell. Go, then, to speak with my lord Aragorn in one of the guest rooms along the road that winds up the southern slope of the Vale of Imladris, and tell him of our deeds here. I will do just that. Let me first put on this for sure. Do we want to put this on? It's more fate, no vitality, no non-combat morale regen, but... I think that physical mitigation is going to be huge. And that max morale uh, is very nice, so let's put that on. Okay. We're good. Alright, now we gotta go back to uh, Rivendell, but before we do that, I wanna go get Grimgore while we're out here. Um, I'm really happy that we made it through that quest. That quest is kind of like a... Uh, a gate, almost? <laughs> where, um... I had to get like several more levels on my guardian to get past it because I couldn't do enough damage to um to beat him before Goladir died. Um it's good to know that Lore Master is basically easy mode. <laughs> Especially like the pet lore master. Greetings. So um I wanna go to Aug Hair, because I think he's right outside Aug Hair. Uh but all the other quests should be sort of easy going from here. I don't think I ran into any other like main story quests that were as difficult as that one. So we've passed the two difficult points and we did it on the first try, which I am really proud of us. <laughs> okay, one thing I want to check. This is a skirmish camp, right? Yes. Um... Armor, Mithril Trader, Exchange. Where's the. Wait, you can get legendary items from them? Curiosity is a thing. I'm gonna look at the legendary stuff real quick. Did you need something? Oh, you can get Scrolls of Empowerment. Oh, you could get the uh, idols for him. Relics. Can you get any, um. What do you do with this? Second Age Relic can be used by crafters to reforge level 75 Second Age weapons in class. Hmm, okay. Looking for Second Age. First Age Relic can be used by crafters who reforge level 95 First Age weapons. Interesting. Okay. I think this is How the one we want. Service to you? We can buy uh, reputation items. 
Here, these things we need. We need eight full worm eyes. I need 20 of them. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. And ten putrid fingernails. Five. Ten. Okay. And then once we get, um, Grim- What is it? Grimgore's Matted Fur? We'll be able to get the, uh... You know, it sucks. We're gonna have to go turn it in and then find a skirmish camp. I don't think there's a... I could go to Bree. I don't think there's a skirmish camp in... Um... What am I thinking? Thorns Gate. Or Thorns Hall. Or outside Selendim. I don't think skirmishes are there. We'd probably have to go to Bree. Or even the Shire? Is there one in the Shire? I don't know. I think it's Bree. Closest one. Alright, Grimgore is... You know what? I think he's a... a boar? Ah. There he is. Killed this guy enough to know. <laughs> Alright. Go get him. Alright. So. I want to go to Thorns Hall, uh, because that's where we turn in these two things. My milestones are down. <laughs> What's the quickest way out there? Probably back to Bree and Thorns Hall. Then we'll have to go back to Bree and then back to Thorns Hall and then we can go to Riverdale. <laughs> The woes of not being a hunter in this game. So hunters are like mages where they can like port everywhere. And that's my that's the main that I usually play in this game as a hunter. Um, hunters are really fun in this game. I'm having a lot of fun with Loremaster actually too. Um, more than I remember having. I liked Guardian, but they're hard to solo. I like minstrel, but again, sometimes Rust a little bit hard to solo. Easily among the trade galore. <clears throat> right, I guess we're going to Esteldin. Really, I don't have a swift travel to Esteldin. You think I've got a swift travel? <clears throat> we're gonna try it. This might be uh, a really weird way to go, but I think I. The swift travel up at where Goladir is. Maybe offers some more... More options? Let's give it a go. Greetings. Ha! Ah, Rivendell, we could go. Okay. I'm gonna go out there then. And from Rivendell, we can go. Three, probably. I don't think Rivendell goes straight to Thorns Hall. What do you need? No, it doesn't. Okay, two Bree. And we will be back. Spending all my money just on travel fees. <laughs> no, we have plenty. We have plenty of money, for sure. What okay. do you mean? Okay, uh... 
We're gonna have to go to... Oh, here. Thorn's Gate. It's funny that he runs out this way and we end up going the complete opposite way. So that's the skirmish camp we'll probably have to come back to. <clears throat> to get the parts for this. Let's dismount early. The guy we need to talk to is over here. Bum, 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 bum. gonna get some class points out of this which is going to be extremely nice okay all right I got a couple things here what can I do for you? Revered white remains and bubbling droplets we're gonna need. And for this one, select emblem of ritual, <clears throat> rune of presence. I think we can buy those from Skirmish. We're gonna have to go back two more times. <laughs> And hope that I have enough marks for all of them, otherwise... We're gonna have to do some skirmishes. Which is okay, it'll help us actually get up there in levels. And Eregion, um... Where you, like, start the quest to go into Moria... Uh, is actually level 48. So we don't have to be 50 to start that. We could be, like, we could go now, I think, and get, like, our legendary weapons and start that area out. Um, but I, like I said, I want to finish the... I am at your service. That's the winter home. I was like, what's happening what here? What do you need? I want to finish the book quest before we start Moria. We have a whole nother book to go. <laughs> Another volume, I guess. Okay, let's head to that skirmish camp. This guy looks cool. One of five champion. I could have fast traveled, I suppose, but we don't really need to. That was good just to see who's around Bree, you know? Running around. Although they might all be in Frost Home. Getting their seasonal mounts. see anyone else <laughs> a couple by the we might see some more people down here by the um... I was gonna say flight path by the horse it's a flight path <laughs> it's just they don't fly look at that cool horse Okay, skirmish. Here's another guy. Here's another guy. Alright, where's the curiosity guy? I think he is... Right there, okay. May I help you? Alright, we need to get... A revered white remains. Bum, 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 bum. How many? Fifteen. Five and fifteen. Bubbling droplets. Then on the first page, bubbling droplets. 
Uh, we need 15 of those. 5, 10, 15. Okay, then we need Ritual of Evil Presence. A oh, Rune of Evil Presence. Okay, we can get that. Emblem of Ritual. What I should do is get the Googles out. <laughs> Let's get the old, the old Google and look at um, articles of mystery. What we need for the last one and just buy them now. All right, Google. We need okay. Putrid Slime of Helchgum. Okay. And Goblin Badge of Rank. Okay. Alright, we got uh, the stuff for this, which I'm glad they added the option to go buy those from the skirmish thing. Um, because the last two require like dungeons or raids to be able to get those, uh, and we would need? never be able to do it. Alright, I need to go... Thorn's Gate. Glad we got the ghouls going there. <laughs> The handy dandy Google. Okay. And this should complete that quest and we'll get a point. One of these points. Which we're level, you know, 46 and we've only had 20, so like points are really nice in this game, I do, I do have to say. You're going to want to get them as much as you can. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Articles How of Mystery. Of Continue. Mega Vonnen. Um, got Beastmaster. Trinket. Fate will vitality crit. Oh gosh. Or this ring. But I want the ring. Let's get the ring. Hey. What can I do for you? Ooh. I mean, both of these are probably going to be better than what we have on. Five percent chance to apply target is drained of 705 power. Attacker gains 705 power. Here's the real question. What do they look like? <laughs> oh, that looks pretty cool. I don't think it's something that Baird Beam would use quite yet, but I'm gonna get the staff. Okay. Mega Bonin. Talk to Elrond. Perfect. So everything else is in Rivendell. Put on our new stuff here. Um, instead of the carved jade one. Oh. You know, we're looking pretty decent, I do have to say. <laughs> But, not enough to turn off our outfits. Alright, and we got Beastmaster. And we should have... Oh. We gotta talk to Elrond first. <laughs> okay. Alright, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. And the next episode, both of these take us to Rivendell. So we will be caught up where we need to be. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.